Hello, everyone. My name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming. And welcome back to another amazing GZ Doom slash Ultimate Doom Builder tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at, uh, you know, the line tool, how to create lines, how to, you know, split our uh, our sectors. Don't worry if you don't know what a sector is, how to select lines and resize them after we've made them. All kinds of really cool stuff. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Uh, so before we get started, I just want to say uh, you'll probably notice that the this is Monday, not Sunday. What happened? Uh, because of the Quake series that I've started, I decided to just move GZ Doom to Monday so that there's a little bit of a gap between the two. Uh, and the other thing is, of course, if you run into any issues or anything like that, uh, you know, feel free to message on Discord and do my best to give you a hand there. Okay, so the first thing, the line tool. There are many ways to do the line tool, but before we talk about the line tool, we need to talk about the grid. So when we create a line, it actually will try to, you know, sync up and lock to the grid. And down here, you can see this is our grid and we can change the size to anything we like. We're gonna leave ours at 16. And you can also use the left and right bracket. Left bracket increases the grid size, right bracket lowers the grid size. It's very similar to hammer, except in reverse, if you've ever used hammer or fall in the left for dead two tutorials. Okay, so how do we create lines? Well, there's a couple different ways we can do it. We can right click and that will allow us to create a line at, in the nearest point in the grid. And we can escape to cancel that if we don't want it. And what I mean by nearest point is, so if I kind of put it in the middle here, it'll snap to the, you know, the, the nearest point on the grid. But if I'm closer to here, it'll snap down to here. The other way to do it, of course, is to hit control D or alternatively, you can come up here and select the draw lines mode. Now, if you were to go here right now and say right click, you'll probably notice that up there over here, it says split line def. What that did was, is it added vertice and it actually split the line def. And we're gonna look at what that specifically does here in just a minute. But what we wanna do is we actually want to uh, create a new sector. So how we do that, is we've determined the point that we wish to go to. So I want to do it right here. And we just hit Control D. And then we'll just go over until the line angle is 181. And then we'll just complete the line. And now we have a brand new sector. And so basically, we're going to do this for all the others. And what we're doing here basically is we are just adding a bit of extra geometry in our starting room so that it's a little less boring. Yeah, I said it. So it's a little less boring. And now we'll hit Q and we'll go into the uh, 3D view. And you'll notice if you hover over that these are now split, the walls are separate and so on. And we'll just left click and select all of them. Uh, this allows us to select the sector and then we'll just use the mouse wheel and we'll scroll up to drag them up the wall. Now, uh, if you try to do this in a different way, like uh, you know, you can actually select the vertices and you can control the vertices and like where they're positioned and so forth. Uh, we're not actually going to be messing with any of that right now. Um, and don't worry about the missing textures and stuff like that. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that. For now, just hit Q again to get out of it and go away from it. And then what we'll do is you can hold space to pan around and we're going to go over here. And then we are going to hit right mouse button. And we're just going to go down 128, over 576, up another 128, and back over to complete it. And now if we go back into our 3D viewport there, you'll probably notice that now we have a hallway. But our hallway is kind of narrow, and no one likes narrow hallways. They're very claustrophobic, they're not as interesting, and you rarely ever need a narrow hallway. So we're going to go and hit Q to go back out. And we're gonna hit L to go into the line def uh, mode, which is over here. And you start in vertices mode, which is V. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this out. So now we have an even longer hallway. But what if we wanna split these? Now you notice before we could select these, but if we right click now, we're just editing the line def and we'll just hit cancel there. But before we were able to put a vertice, well, we go back into vertice mode and then we will just right click. And now if we hit L and go back in, you can see and hover over, uh, 
we have a lovely and beautiful separate um, you know, line. And we're even able to drag this out. So what we're going to do is drag this out. Just one. So we kind of have like our sort of narrow hallway here. But it has a bit of an extra look to it. You know, kind of like it's coming in, so to speak. And yes, I think that's pretty good. So let's let's practice just a little bit more. And let's go back into the vertice mode here. And hmm, let's create like a narrow. Actually, let's hit escape. So let's create like a narrow hallway here that then leads to this room over here. And we'll just drag out another line. And then we'll go back into Q here. And we'll go this way. And now we have another lovely little uh, little room in here. Okay. So now, as you can see, we're kind of starting to get and develop a map of some sort. And that's really it. Like, that's all there is to it, to the line draw. Um, now, again, there's a lot of other stuff with lines. So, for example, if we were to double-click on this at, or right-click, we're not going to worry about what I, I did there with the one there. Uh, that's what happens when you click and select lines. So basically you can click and select and mark lines and then right click and then you can go through and edit, you know, and basically it's a way to select lines. So for example, if we want to change the uh, texture on these, you can right click and you'll see down here that there's that lovely little symbol that means there's no texture applied. And then we can go through and we can search for almost any kind of Let's go for, hmm, I mean, we could look for a filter, but I'm going to go for the nice solid wood, uh, not wood, the brick there. And I'm going to hit escape to just, I think, ah, oh, yeah, right click. Sorry, I wanted to deselect the, uh, the other lines there. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to, you know, go play and then, you know, and in the next video, we're going to do some other stuff and that will probably uh, clear up any and all remaining confusion with lines, although they are relatively simple. So now, as you can see, we have a pretty nice looking little uh, little level here. I mean, the textures, of course, don't match, but you know, we're, we're gonna get to that eventually. And if we go up and around here, you can see we have like a little room. So like we could put like, you know, we could put like a shotgun or something up on like a pedestal or something here. I leave it up to you guys to determine this. Um, and I know that for some people, I'm going to, think it's quit. Yeah. I know that for some people, you're probably, you know, I don't want to turn these videos into 30 minutes. So we're going to have a lot of videos and they should be around the 10 minute mark. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial. That is how you make a uh, line tool. In the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at sectors and we're going to extend our level a little bit. And we're going to look at some of the cool things that you can do you know, when you're editing sectors. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys next Monday. I hope you guys have a good one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that little bell if you want to get some notifications. As well, if you'd like to support the channel, you can hit that join button down below, or you can uh, hit one of the links uh, for the membership that's in the description. And as always, if you have any issues, questions, comments, or concerns, comment down below or join the Discord and let me know there. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.